What's up everyone, it's Dr. Webb here. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. New videos come in every week, you don't wanna miss them. For those who are new to the channel, my name is Dr. Antonio Webb, a fifth year orthopedic surgery resident. In this video today, I'm going to be talking about why I chose to become an MD over a NP or a PA. For those who are not aware, NP is nurse practitioner, a PA is a physician assistant. When I was going through the uh, years in my college, kind of pre-med, kind of early on, not kind of knowing exactly what I wanted to do, uh, because in high school, I went to a medical magnet program and that kind of exposed me to the different uh, career fields in medicine. And then uh, since that uh, medical magnet program, I told myself that I wanted to be a doctor, but when I got into the military, I went to the military at age 17 and spent eight years in the military. I was at work one day and I saw another gentleman studying uh, for the MCAT and he had a pile of books. It was like, had to be like seven or eight books that he was just sitting on the desk. So I was like, man, I don't know if I want to do all that. So that's when I kind of made a decision. I haven't told a lot of people about this to apply to PA school. So in the military, they have a military uh, physician assistant uh, program, and it's only for military people. And once you get into the program, you get uh, commissioned, and you are a physician assistant for the military. Yet you, you owe them some, some time for doing the program. So I applied to that program, did a couple prereqs, got a letter of recommendation from a physician assistant in the military, shadowed a PA in the military, and then didn't get picked up but I'm glad I didn't because that was a blessing in disguise because if I did, I probably most likely would not have become a doctor. Um, but there are a lot of pros and cons to kind of all, th all three fields, um, whether you take the MD route, the NP route versus the PA route. For a medical doctor, it requires four years of college, four years of medical school, and anywhere between three to seven years of residency. For a PA, it usually requires four years or 90, 90 credit hours, depending on what school you go to. And then the physician assistant program, it varies anywhere between one to uh, three years. For a nurse practitioner, it, you re it requires you to become a nurse. Uh, so you have to have four years of uh, nursing school and then you apply to the graduate school and this is a master's degree there's some programs out there where you can get your doctorate of nurse practitioner uh, but most of them are master's degree and those programs range in time i don't know the exact number of years but i believe it's anywhere between one to uh, three years of training schooling after you complete your bachelor's in nursing so a nurse practitioner versus a PA. They both can see patients uh, depending on the state and where you work and how comfortable the uh, physician is with you in terms of um, giving you autonomy. Uh, some nurse practitioners see pa patients by, their, that, by themselves, but technically you're uh, required in most places to be under the supervision of a, a, of a MD or a doctor. And same for uh, PAs, but that doesn't uh, kind of apply all across the board. There's nurse practitioners out there that are sole providers and they see patients. They can prescribe medications. PAs can see patients. They can prescribe medications. Uh, both can assist in surgery. Uh, you have to get a special kind of training to do this. Uh, both allow you to work in lots of different specialties. Say for instance, you are a nurse practitioner and you're working in pediatrics and you get tired of it after kind of three to four years you can be like man I want to go work uh, emergency medicine or I want to go work in neurosurgery or dermatology so you have the flex flexibility to change your specialty and that's a pro of being a PA or a nurse practitioner is that you can do that if you get tired if you are a physician and, and I've been in school for 14 15 years to be an orthopedic surgeon and I say, man, I just don't like this anymore. <laughs> I want to do radiology. Uh, that'd be a little bit more challenging to do. So um, a downside of being a physician, an MD, is that the schooling is very long. 
I have other videos talking about, you know, 14 years, 15 years to be a surgeon or whatever specialty that you're going into, but it is a long time compared to, you know, your PA and MP, which, you know, PA, let's say six years, NP, let's say seven years. So six and seven years for a PA versus nurse practitioner versus 14, 15 years to be a surgeon. Or if you didn't wanna be a surgeon, you can, you can be a pediatrician or emergency medicine doctor or internal medicine doctor. Those have the shortest residencies. So four years of college, four years of medical school and three years of um, uh, residency training. So that's uh, 11 years. So 11 years versus six or seven. In terms of the pay, obviously the MDs are gonna get paid more than a nurse practitioner or a PA. And I know there's gonna be some people out there who's gonna comment and, be, and say, oh, I know this PA or this nurse practitioner that made more than the doctor. Probably so, who cares? Um, in certain situations, if a PA or NP works double time or triple time and then it, they, in a really competitive specialty like neurosurgery, they can make a lot of money. They make, make more than a, let's say, a pediatrician or some of the other low and low paying uh, specialties in medicine. But in general, a MD will make more than a nurse practitioner or a PA. So my reasonings for becoming an MD is just because I wanted to be in charge. I didn't want to have to answer to anyone. I'm not saying that all nurse practitioners or PAs have to do this, but in general, you will have a supervising physician kind of sign off on your charts, sign off on your prescriptions, and you have two answers to that physician. I didn't want to do that. And also, I wanted to um, make a decent uh, living. And that's the reason why, in terms of salary, and that's the reason why I chose to become an MD. But looking back, I think PA or a nurse practitioner um, are really good routes to take because like I said, the schooling is not as long. Depending on your, where you work, you can have a lot of autonomy and see patients on your own. You can have your own clinic. You can work in the emergency room. You can work in the NICU. You can work in the uh, in surgery. And also you don't have to take as much call as physicians. Some PAs and nurse practitioners do take call, but for the majority of them, uh, I don't believe they do. Not in, my program anyway. Uh, we do have PAs that work in the ER with this for orthopedic surgery. We have PAs that work in surgery with us. So, um, and they don't take any call at all. So that's a advantage of being a PA or NP. But there may be some programs or certain locations where the PA and the NP are taking call. But in general, I think you can have a very good lifestyle and make a very decent salary by being a PA or MP. But I wouldn't change my decision going back. Uh, I, was, I would still become a uh, MD and I'm glad I made this decision. I like the uh, chance to call my own shots, do surgeries um, and prescribe patients medication, see patients in the clinic, uh, help patients when they're um, kind of at the lowest points of their life. And that's the reason why I love orthopedic surgery. Um, as an MP or PA, like I said, you can assist in surgery. You can't perform surgery your own, your own, your own in the operating room. There may be some procedures in the ER that you're allowed to do, but taking a patient to surgery to do a hip replacement or fixing their fracture or fixing uh, their ACL or something like that, you can't do as a, a PA or MP. But both, all three are really good, great fields. If you're looking for a fill to go in and have a really good lifestyle, you can have that as an MD, but you can have a better lifestyle, I would think, in terms of time off and, um, and your schedule as an NP or a PA. This is Dr. Webb. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. New videos coming every week. We'll see you next time.